everyone welcome back to my channel so I just wanted to show you guys my current favorites and I have some face products some hair care some makeup and two pairs of shoes so if you want to see what my current favorites are then please just keep watching okay so my first favorites are these um, makeup remover wipes they are from Neutrogena and they're the hydrating ones because I have dry skin um, I just thought that the hydrating would be nice for my skin. Um, I like these because I do have sensitive skin and these don't irritate my skin at all. And they have like a, a hint of smell, but it's not like perfumey or something that's going to really irritate your skin. And um, I just use these and then I go in with my cleanser. So it just gets like, you know, your face makeup off and stuff like that. My next fake product is this uh, L'Oreal Youth Care, um, I don't, or Youth Code, I don't know when this came out, but it looks like that, and, um, <sighs> smells so good, um, it's a texture perfecter, so you just use this, you can use it day and night, um, either whatever one you want to use it, and it's just supposed to improve the texture of your skin. I've really been loving this, and I love the smell, um, a lot of my moisturizers don't smell very good, so um, I use this one maybe um, once every two days or something like that. I switch off and on, but um, I like this one because it really does improve your, the texture of your skin. I really see a difference, and um, yeah, and I think this was $20, and you could get it at a drugstore. The next and last um, face product is this. Michael Todd um, Hydration Boost Facial Serum and um, I have really been liking this. I use, um, I still use my Lush moisturizer but after I do that I use this and I use those two products during the night time since my face is like extremely dry. I like to really hydrate my skin before I go to bed and I really like this. It's just like a serum. Um, the only thing I don't like is the smell, but, um, yeah, I, if you have dry skin, I highly recommend this stuff. So for my two hair care products, I've really been loving my Batiste Dry Shampoo, and this is, this is a hint of color, dark and deep brown. So, um, I never really got into, um, dry shampoo just because I always thought that they left your hair grayish, um, but this actually has a tint on it, so if I don't want to wash my hair for a couple days um, and I don't want it to be too greasy, I just add some of this and then you just kind of put it in and then you shake it up and it helps a lot, so I've really been liking this and I got this at Ulta and it was only like five, no, I don't know how much it was but I know it wasn't that expensive. So then my last hair care is this Tresemme Thermal, Thermal Creations Heat Tamer leave-in spray and I use this before I blow dry my hair and literally this is my second bottle I literally love it um, when I blow dry my hair um, it leaves my hair extremely soft and um, yeah, I think that's why I like it the most because it leaves my hair really soft and not dried at all so this is the um, heat tamer spray okay so the next thing or favorite is makeup of course and I do have a lot of that um, not too much but more than the other things I've showed you so let's get started okay so the first two things I've been loving is this um, Maybelline the Falsies Big Eyes mascara and then I've also been loving the telescopic by L'Oreal and I like to use these two together um, this one I use first it just um, I can use this on its own too um, you just kind of have to layer it more but I love this mascara and then I just tried layering this top one and I don't really use the small um, what do they call that this the small side for your bottom lashes I don't really like it. I just use this one but um, these two together I really been loving for my eyelashes so I highly recommend these two. next is my Mary Luminizer um, from the bomb and it is just a luminizer highlighter and the reason why I love this product is because um, 
I actually use it for multi-purpose, so I use it to highlight my cheekbones, but then I also use it to brighten my inner corner. And this is only maybe like less than $20, and it's literally like, it's like perfect. It's so gorgeous. I love it. So highly recommend this. The next two things I've been loving is the um, Maybelline Eye Studio Quads. I think they're called quads. Um, but seriously, love these things. So I have Give Me Gold, and it's just um, more of like a bronzy um, eyeshadow look. I love them. They have all the colors like you would need. So this is in Give Me Gold, and I think they're $10, and you could get them at the drugstore. And then the second one I have is Copper Chic, and that looks like that. And it just has um, has a dark brown, it has like a copper color, it has like a reddish coppery color, and then it has a highlight shade. So I've really been loving these two. And um, I'm in Arizona right now, and um, these are the two things I brought with me for eyeshadow. They're small. You can just use them. Love them. The next thing I've been loving is a new product to me. Um, it's called the Master Precise by Maybelline. And it looks like this. And the applicator looks like that. So it's a pen form. And I never really tried a pen form for eyeliner. I always just use gel. But this is a lot easier. Um, so yeah, I just kind of like put it on my eye. And it makes it a lot easier. So the next product I've been loving, and I've been loving this ever since I got it, um, is the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And it just looks like this. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it just looks like this, and I've already hit pan, so you know that I love it. Um, I really do like it. Um, it looks light, but when you put it on your skin, like it really isn't. Um, but the only thing I don't like is sometimes it comes off like patchy on my skin. And I don't know if that's just me, but that's just what I've been noticing. Um, but yeah, I definitely love this bronzer. This is the only bronzer I have, which is weird. But um, yeah, I love it. So I highly recommend this bronzer. It's Hoola by Benefit. Okay, we're almost done. So next, I have a brush. And this is the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. Looks like this. Um, I got this a while ago and I never used it. I don't know. I just didn't like the way that I put foundation on my skin. But I got this. This is my other favorite. And it is the MAC Mineralize um, foundation. And it is in NC35. And I don't know. I, I've just been loving this. Um, I got it because... Um, I went into MAC and I was looking for a foundation that was very hydrating because I have dry skin and um, the guy tried this on me and I actually really like it. It literally leaves your skin like glowy. So I don't think this would be good for oily skin but um, since I have high, um, dry skin I need all the hydration I could get. And um, I've been using this brush with this and seriously love it, like I love it so much. So I highly recommend this brush for foundation. Um, liquid foundation it really like, buffs in the product very well um, and then if you have dry skin highly recommend this um, foundation and then um, second to last product is this MAC um, lipstick and it is in Rebel and literally this oh, this color is like the best color ever it is a plummy yeah, it's just like a plum color. Um, and like, I think this is perfect, perfect, perfect for winter. I love it. I think it complements every single person's skin tone. And yeah, so that is Rebel, and I've been wearing that a lot. And then last but not least is this Paint Pot in Soft Ochre by Matt. It just looks like that. Um, I love this because I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow, but I do like the color, like I do like how this is like skin tone color. So this is what it looks like. Can't really see it. But it's kind of just like skin tone color and it really just evens out your eyelid and I like it just when I put eyeliner on. I just like that it really evens out my um, eyelid color. So I've been really loving this and this is painterly, 
oh no this is soft ochre and it just comes in a little pot like this the first pair are these boots these boots and i was looking for some um combat boots and I found these at DSW and they're Roxy and I don't really like the brand Roxy but these are actually really cute um they were I think they were maybe $60 but yeah I love these they really make me feel like a badass um but yeah I just like to pair these with um since it's getting warmer, or not warmer, <laughs> since it's getting warmer. No, since it's getting cooler, I like to pair these with, like, um, high socks. And then, like, the socks kind of show out of them. Um, you could just wear them with black leggings, a dress, a skirt, like, anything. They go with anything. So, I've really been loving these. And I think I'm going to get a brown pair next. But, yeah, love these. And then my last favorite has been a favorite ever since summer. Um... But I still wear them now because it's, like, it's not, ex where I live, it's not exactly, like, too cold to wear flip-flops. So, they're just my rainbows. And they're the ones with the braid on the side. And these were $50, which is a lot. But honestly, I've heard that, these are my first pair of rainbows, and I've heard that they last forever. So, I thought, why not? And they're super cute. Um... I don't know. I just love these. They literally go with everything. I love the color. I love the dark brown. Um, so yeah, I've been loving these. Okay, everyone. So that is it for my current favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a comment below um, letting me know what video I should do next. And make sure you like this video. And also, I just wanted to say thank you for getting me almost 200 subscribers. I know that's not a lot, but to me... That's a lot and it makes me excited and makes me, like, I don't know. It makes me feel good. So, and now I have swatches all over my hands. But, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for watching my videos and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.